In this video, we are going to make luminol using 3-nitrothalic acid, hydrazine sulfate and sodium acetate dihydrate. In previous videos, I showed you how to make hydrazine sulfate and 3-nitrothalic acid. Here, we are going to convert it to luminol. Warning: The chemicals were used in this video is highly corrosive, toxic and harmful. Must wear proper safety equipment when handling chemicals. First, 1 gram of 3-nitrothalic acid, 0.6 gram of hydrazine sulfate, 1.4 grams of sodium acetate trihydrate were added to a beaker. Then 1 ml of distilled water and 5 ml of glycerin were added. The mixture is heated between 215 to 220 Celsius for 5 minutes. When it reaches to 100 Celsius, water will evaporate off. Then the temperature reaches to 215. Solution turns to dark red color. It is okay. After 5 minutes, the mixture is kept to cool down to room temperature. After cooling down, the liquid became to a solid. And now I added 20 ml of distilled water. Then I filter the precipitate and wash the precipitate with distilled water twice. Then to convert nitrate group to amine group, we need to dissolve the precipitate. For that, I prepare 10% sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving 5 grams of sodium hydroxide in 45 milliliters of distilled water. When the precipitate dissolved in sodium hydroxide, the solution turns into red color. Then 10 grams of sodium metabisulfite was added and mixed well. Then I added 5 grams of aluminium and wait until the solution gives no more color changes. After that, I filtered the solution. Here is the filtered, nice, clear yellow solution. Now the solution is still basic and we need to extract our product luminol. For that I used a solution of 25 grams of sodium bisulfate and 100 milliliters of acetone mixture. When the filtered solution and the sodium bisulfate and acetone mixture were mixed together, a white precipitate was formed. This white precipitate can be discarded. For that, the mixture is kept to settle down and the clear solution was decanted. After that, by evaporating the solvent, we can obtain the crude dry product. The amount of solid can be obtained is too low. Therefore, I decided to keep the luminol solution. To test the product, we have already prepared we need sodium hydroxide, household bleach and luminol solution. First, I mix 10 ml of luminol solution with 10 ml of 5% sodium hydroxide solution. Now to get the glow, add some bleach. 